Nantes, the French team that has gone completely under the radar in last season's Ligue 1 title race. They were only one point off the title leaders of Paris Saint-Germain, but they just couldn't have that extra push to finally dethrone PSG off their mighty Ligue 1 title win. Yo, what is going on, my YouTube people? 2099 back here with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing how has Lens, the French team, done so well in the Ligue 1 season that just ended. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe as well. I'd just like to let you guys know that 90% of people that watch my content are not subscribed. So this is why I insist a lot on subscribing. It does help the channel quite a lot. And it really, really does help me as well towards making content. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the players of the team. Now, if you guys have watched my older videos, you guys will kind of notice that I'm following a theme here, starting off with the players that have done really well with the team. And in this case, we've got players like Seco Fofana, Luis Openda, Frankowski, the Argentinian center back Facundo Medina. All these guys have been absolutely fantastic. There's more than just these guys. There's been the rest of the team have been as good, but those are like the standout players, I would say anyways. And going one by one with these guys, starting with the top scorer of the team, Luis Openda. You guys may have heard him from FIFA, the video game, but Nevertheless, in real life, he's been fantastic. Scoring goals left, right, and center has been there everywhere. He's a very rapid player, a uh, player that you can count on to score goals. He's just always there at the right time. And I wouldn't be surprised if another team will come for him in this transfer window that we're currently in. We're gonna be talking about transfers a little bit later on in the video. Next, we got Seko Fafana, another player that you may have heard about from FIFA, the video game, but in real life, he is just as good. He's been absolutely fantastic, just a tank for Lens. And one thing that I want to mention about Lens is these guys were a team that were fighting for promotion in Ligue 2 a few seasons ago, and to see them already second in this year's Ligue 1 title race, it is something nice to see. And they were only one point off Paris Saint-Germain, which I will never stop emphasizing because it is very, very huge that they've done such a thing. They were this close of defeating Paris Saint-Germain, but they just couldn't. Moving on to the players, we've got Frankowski, Polish. He is just as good in defense. He's been fantastic. Um, I really like the way Lance utilizes him. Seems to go up a little bit and come back, but in general speaking, he's been very, very good. And then we've got Facundo Medina, the Argentinian center back, like I mentioned, just a rock at the back. Deservedly deserves to be picked up by a better team if he does end up going out of Lance. He's just everywhere, it seems. That's for the players most of the time. I want to get on with the transfer part of the video because it seems like it is very important because you might not see these players that I just mentioned. Could be other players that I have not mentioned as well, but in general, because Lance, they do not have PSG type of money. They can't attract any players that they want, but they are playing in the Champions League next season, which means that they can attract players who would like to play in the Champions League, but they need to make things right and make sure that they get the right signs because replacing players like Fofana or Penda are not necessarily easy. They don't have time to experiment or buy players they think would do well because they're not PSG. They are not guaranteed to be as good as they were this season, next season, if that makes sense. So they need to make things right. I am not really following their transfer news that much. All I really know is that they were interested in two Iranian players, Majid Hosseini and Esan Haji Safi. I'm not sure how true these rumors are. I know they've been in for Majid Hosseini for a long time. I think that's the one that's the most true out of the two. Nevertheless, if they do end up getting Majid Hosseini, he's very good, very solid at the back. I wouldn't say he's as good as Facundo Medina if they end up losing Medina, but I think he is a solid replacement for sure. Haji Safi, another player, I mean, he is a veteran of the game and I think would be nice. I'm presuming he'd be playing either in midfield or maybe at Frankowski's position. Maybe Frankowski is the one leaving, but other than that, like I said, I'm not too sure on the rest of the transfer uh, targets that they have. So if you are a fan of the Liga or a Lance fan, please do let me know down in the comment section down below who are they interested in or who do you guys want at your club? The point of that whole little speech that I just made is that Lance need to get it right. No matter who they sign, whether it's the Iranian or someone from another country, they need to make things right and make sure that the player they buy is the one because again i'm repeating myself they are not psg they don't have that type of money where they can just go in and buy in whoever they want 
but playing in the Champions League will definitely give him um, that boost uh, of, I guess you could say, attractiveness. Some players would like to come to Lens and play just because they are in the Champions League. That's something that is determined to be seen for now. So that's the kind of point I want to make with Lens is that, um, you know, now they're at a stage where they are in a very good position. What they need to do now is maintain that position because it's very easy for them to just completely crash down and go back to the ways they were before and they can finish maybe fifth, seventh, sixth or whatever. But they need to make things right if they want to even attempt to dethrone PSG uh, just like they nearly did uh, this season time round. So that's what I really have to say about Lens, the team. A team that has completely flew under the radar. I haven't seen much media covering their story other than French media. And I think it's unfortunate because I feel like they deserve a lot of praise. You know, being second, very close to PSG, with only one point is not an easy feat. So I think they deserve their flowers, their praises. They've been great. And hopefully maybe next season, if they play their cards right, they can maybe dethrone Paris Saint-Germain. So that's pretty much it on what I have to talk about this subject. What do you guys think about Arsene Lens? Do you guys think that they have what it takes to dethrone PSG next season? Do you guys think they have what it takes to uh, be good in the Champions League? Because they do have a chance of going far if they make some good signs and such. That's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, it helps the channel quite a lot. Join all my socials, my Instagram, Discord, TikTok, and all of that will be all down in the description for you guys to check out. And that'll be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Damn, I'm on red alert. Now she went up in the dark.